Good evening. My name is Hashika. Uh, you know what Hashita means? It means happiness or joy. They say spread happiness, spread joy. And we Indians have taken it very seriously. Like, come on. I alone was seven years Hashika. I was called Hachar my entire high school. Because there was another Hashita in my class. Since school came up, let me tell you, the number of schools have changed is equal to the number of Hashita I know. <laughs> my school was great, not academically, but fun one. If you want to know about my academics, I just passed in my exam. Sometimes I didn't fail. But that didn't stop me from watching Shinchan and Goryeon every day. I was the one who doesn't submit for work on time, who doesn't pay attention in class, and who was basically the lazy one. So, before I knew it, the turning point of my life, the 10th standard came with an uninvited guest with COVID-19. It had, I mean, it turned my life upside down. They say 10th is the best year of filled with memories, but the only memory I have is sleeping through all my classes. And I can't forget about my online test. The only preparation is required was copy and paste. Uh, so, it's one month for my board exam and I don't even know the chapter's name. I was, I had only one option to pray to God and say, please cancel my exams. And, okay, now it is 14th April 2021, a day before my birthday. Uh, and it was a pretty normal day. I woke up, got ready. I prayed to God for my exams to get cancelled mm -hmm. and, and, and studied just in case. So I had my book in front of me and was wondering what's for dinner. And I received a call from my friend. That one call was so precious I really wish I can relive it. My prayers were finally answered and my exams had got cancelled. Before I knew it, I was choosing between science or commerce. Obviously not art, and commerce only if I wanted to become a PA. So, I chose science with PCMB combination. My first PUC, it was really weird. After a whole year of only sleeping and eating, I'd forgotten how to read and write. And, like once, uh, my teacher was dictating notes. And we were like, what is the spelling of seven days while away? And it, like for, for months, we had online classes. The next, offline. And again, online. Somehow I passed my first few. And then, by that time, I knew I wanted some change. So I went to a hostel in Manga. That one year was your year. I made good friends. And I even studied. <laughs> and everything was great except the food and my body. My stay there taught me three very important things. One, no one observes you, so do whatever you want. Two, we can never judge a person based on how they look, behave, or how sweet or kind they are. And three, the most important one, never tell anyone that they have snatched with you. <laughs> um, after my work, I came back home. I, I spent a period of for a few days. But later, I started missing my time there. Even if I had to eat raw cut in peace. Like, after a month, it was the day of my result. I was, it was 10 o'clock. I'm still sleeping. My mom and, and my sister were in my room. My dad had gone out for work. I see the call. It's my mom. And she's like, don't worry if you fail in your exams, but feel supportive. I didn't, I mean, I can't blame them for having a thought like that because I was a student. I mean, we just passed even like that. So, I was, but, that, but what she said made me really nervous. I cut the call, opened Google search, searched for the website, entered my roll number, and then prayed to God. They prayed, please, you pass my soup. And then, and then I opened my result. It was a distinction. I had not 85. I knew I had done well in my exams, 
But the inner Harshita was like, did you cheat? <laughs> we had never gotten about seven. This was my story till last month. Now, I'm excited to learn more about AI and ML, which may be another Harshita in my class. So now, tell me, how many people have you met with the same name with you? With that, I would like to advise you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.